beautiful people welcome to my channel all right so leo i decided to pop on here while i'm waiting for my laundry to finish and see what's going on okay let's see what we got going on for next week this one i resonate with everyone take what fits and leave the rest what messages do we have for leo okay so one of them is actually heart chakra here self-esteem uh we have passion and then also connections. Okay. All right. So, Leo, it looks like you're going to be connecting with some folks here. Um, this could actually be friends, family. Could be all of the above here. But it looks like um, there is actually uh, some healing going on with this heart chakra here. I really love it. Okay. Looks like you're going to have a lot of fun. Um, some wish fulfillment here. Things are coming together very peacefully. I love this. Okay. This is crazy how your numbers are, too. You have 21, 22, 25, and 26. All right, so it kind of looks like things are starting to flow together. There may be some gaps in between here and there, but uh, overall, it looks like a lot of fun, a lot of healing here. Um, yeah, a lot of growth happening here, too. All right, so I see a lot of... things a lot of healing happening here all right it looks like some of you are actually um focusing on your personal growth as well okay all right some of you may have lost lost some type of desire um i won't say failure to thrive but you may have felt stuck stagnant like things weren't moving forward um you may have felt like, you know, you're trying to make progress here, but it kind of seems like the doors were being closed to you. And to me, that's not the case. It's more or less like a wait here, okay? Um, like you're early for an appointment. It's not time for you to be seen yet, okay? So you've been placed on hold, but now it looks like the floodgates are starting to open up for you. All right, so a lot of healing, a lot of forward movement, a lot of positive connections, a lot of um, inspiration and joy um, being returned into your life. And you're finding that desire to move forward and, you know, to take on new tasks and new projects and things like that. OK, so this is pretty cool. I like that. Especially it's a lot of green here. OK, let's see. What else for Leo? All right, rebirth. Okay, so actually a lot of you might have been spending a lot of time out in nature, you know, um, getting grounded, um, just listening to that inner peace, you know, being connected with source. Um, it's kind of trip to me because I always think of being outside in nature as, you know, the go between God, source, universe and Mother Earth, you know, and the connection with all three kind of keeps me grounded and stable. OK, so able to see things from the 3D and also the 5D as well, you know, so that's just for me. Um, so I see a lot of you spending time out with nature. If not, maybe you want to think about doing that. But I also see a lot of change, transformation, a lot of growth happening here, um, especially when it comes to your spirituality and how you're starting to view people, your relationships, and also yourself and your purpose on this earth. Let's see. Some of you are really stepping into your divine purpose or figuring out what that is. What is it that you want from this life? Okay. All right. Let's see. All right, divine wisdom. Oh, I love this. Okay, so connecting with source, also using the experiences from your past to learn and grow, okay, and seeking more knowledge and a deeper connection with source um, as well as yourself and Mother Earth, okay? Like I said, you know, um, as above, so below, we're trying to bring everything into divine balance here, okay? So this is really cool. I think you've learned a lot in this last... Um, Possibly this last year, you know what I mean, has been a, a lot of changes, a lot of enlightenment, a lot of growth, um, a lot of acceptance as well, okay, as well as a lot of letting go, okay, a lot of releasing, all right, so looks pretty good, Leo, all right, so let's see, what else do we have for us, um, let's see. 
what else is coming up next week? All right, so we got some type of surprise here. All right. Oh, here we go. What is this? All right, so this lands over here with an emperor. So this could have something to do with work. Um, this could have something to do with your personal business moving forward. This could also have something to do with you taking charge and, you know, moving forward here. This also could have to do with travel here as well, okay? But let's see. It says surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching, okay? So you might have somebody step into you, okay? An emperor here. I don't know. We'll see. Major life changes. The time is right for a major life change as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. All right, Leo. So this doesn't look half bad at all, okay? I really like it. All right, a lot of changes happening here. You could have had some things that didn't come together the way that you want. Like I said, there's a lot of healing here, a lot of acceptance, and a lot of letting go and moving forward here, okay? So maybe um, something that you wanted didn't come to fruition for you because Source had something much better for you, okay? All right, so roll with the punches, sweetheart, okay? Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy the new lease on life, okay? So I think we saw that with the rebirth here as well. So Source is letting you know that this is a period of change for you. And uh, yeah, roll with the punches, baby, because yeah, you got some good things coming for you. So some of the changes that you're going through may be really difficult, but it's necessary for your own growth and prosperity, okay? All right, any other messages for Leo? <clears throat> All Drop your shield, protection guardian, okay? So, uh, and then you have shapeshifter, shapeshifter, oh my God. <laughs> Transform and unveil your gifts. Like I said, a lot of you, um, I think that was possibly before I started this video, but over in another deck, we have the artist. Okay, so some of you are actually stepping into your, um, your creative side. You understand releasing your gifts, showing what you're capable of, and taking yourself to the extreme, okay? Leos, I know a lot of us, like, you know, we stick our hands on a lot of different things. And once we learn what we learn, we kind of perfect it. And like, oh, okay, you know, I know how to do that. All right, I'm cool. Next, you know, um, figure out what it is that you love to do, something that you're good at, something that you can pour your, your heart, soul, desire in. You understand it's something that you can express yourself and share with others and something that you can stick to, okay? And uh, just, you know, kind of... Find something that you love that says, this is you, Leo, and do it and keep with it, okay? And just expand it and grow, okay? But tap into your creative side. So I think a lot of you are actually, especially if you're spending a lot of time alone right about now, you're focusing on you. I think a lot of you are actually going to be opening some doors to your creative side and it's actually going to shine through, okay? And people are going to gravitate to you because of that. All right, protection, guardian, drop your shields here, sweetheart. So it's just trying to tell you, you know what, sweetheart? We got your back here. Go ahead. I don't want you to worry about anything, but just make some uh, wise choices here. Use your discernment, your intuition here, but we got your back, okay? There's no need to try to fight a battle because um, you've won the battle, and anything that's coming against you is already won, okay? It's already conquered, Source has actually put a team around you that's that's no joke. You understand? And they don't play about you, Leo. So know that you are highly protected at this time. Go forth, but use the knowledge and wisdom that you've gained over the past years um, to move forward, okay? And always keep your spirit team on high alert. You understand? And that's by connecting with them, talking to them, you know, asking them to continuously provide protection and, and uh, strength for you, okay? So this is a beautiful thing. So they know that, you know, they're letting you know that we got your back, sweetheart. You don't have to fight this battle alone. All right. So there's that. All right. So, yes, we are going to get into the Kipper. Oh, my God. Let's get into the Kipper. Let's see what's going on. The Kipper and also these. And do I want to? Dare I? Let's see. Give me two, please, from these. These are almost as bad as the Kipper. I'm just saying. 
All right, yeah, have faith that things are actually going to work out for your highest good, okay? Like I said, you are protected at this time. Source has a divine plan, although you might not see it. You don't know the outcome. You don't know the purpose of it. You're here for a reason, sweetheart, and it's other than just being here for yourself, your family to work, pay bills, and just, you know, um, add little sprinkles of yourself throughout time on this planet. Sweetheart, you have a divine destiny and have faith the source is going to, you know, work through you and for you along your journey here. Okay. And even if you don't see your way, have faith the source is not going to leave you on the wayside, you know, on the side of the road abandoned. Okay. Um, yeah, you are protected and being guided at this time. Okay. So, Stay connected to source and have faith that things are going to work out, okay? Be careful of self-sabotage. Don't let your past hold you back, especially past people, past relationships, past heartache and pain. All right, the skeletons in the closets and things like that, sweetheart. I feel like find out what do you need to do to release these things, to free yourself from things that can kind of hold you back, okay? And that will actually help you move forward. And I do apologize if you hear my dogs in the background, okay? Give me one more, please, for... Leo, please and thank you. All right, so home. Right about now, you might be staying close to home, to your loved ones and things like that. Um, staying more grounded, okay? So I do apologize. Hold on one moment. Um, can you do me a favor? I'm doing a reading. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so anywho. Shall I pause? Oh, okay, sorry. All right, so anyway, um, yeah, so you might be spending a lot of time around home, family, and things like that, um, getting grounded, um, making sure your nest is secure here. That's the main thing that's most important to you. Also, a lot of you are spending some time facing your demons, looking at the past, looking at the things that may hinder your growth and things like that, and moving forward, okay? So um, conquering your blocks and things like that, all right? Hmm. Okay, so anyway, that kind of reminds me of that self-sabotage card, too, as well. Okay, there are some things that we need to look at at the shadow side and deal with as well. Um, because there may be some things that um, that haven't been addressed that might be kind of holding you back from reaching your fullest potential or healing as uh, fully as you can, okay? All right, so let's see. What else do we have going on here? Any messages, please, and thank you. and I'm not all right but let's see you gotta watch your finances some of you got a secret admirer here as well some of you are dealing with somebody that is stubborn and aggressive you might want to uh, just check and make sure that that's not you a sincere wish will be granted and you got a path of money looking for you um, honestly I kind of think that has something to do with your creativity okay some of you might make art and things like that that you can actually sell. All right, so, all right, yeah, you might want to watch your spending here. All right, so what came out for you is pay attention to your health, the cane here. All right, this could be stress, worry. This could be you paying attention to everything else except for what is going on with your mind, body, and soul. So there's a need to pay attention to that. All right, so we have the casket here. Someone is going out of your life or either an end of a situation here. All right, there's an exciting event going on. We're going to clarify to see what that is. You have the heart here, deep love and affection and caring relationships. Okay, let's see. So right about now, it kind of looks like that's what matters here. All right, seek out information that will help you with the vine. So it kind of looks like you want to move forward. There's some transformation happening here. Things will not always be this way. Birth of a child or enterprise, okay? So someone here, like I said, you could be stepping into a new role, uh, entrepreneur, something like this, collabing with someone, you know, to get your products and things like that out online or whatever it is. All right, and let's see. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change, okay? And we just saw that aggressive person. All right, so someone here that you're dealing with is a jackass. And I'm not trying to be funny. That's what they're showing up as, okay? So hopefully this is not you. Be willing to learn. Be willing to compromise, okay? And be willing to listen, all right? 
um, and listen without um, without the intent to how can I say have a rebuttal um, listen with the intent to understand the other person's point of view okay because after all there's three sides to the story there's your side the person's side and then there's the actual truth okay so just be mindful of that okay all right let's see give me one more please and thank you what else do we have here on the bottom of the day january okay so there's possibly some of these changes happening in january or something big is coming in january all right, so we have the ways. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. I do believe it is a stubborn person. This might be stressing you out with the health problems here, okay? And there's some major changes coming here in your life. Um, some of you may stop dealing with this person, whoever they are, because it's just you're just fighting a losing battle here, all right? Um, doesn't kind of seem like this is a nice person to have in your energy, um, simply because it came up twice. Um, and all the cards that fell out and then now it's coming up here. So you kind of got a jerk here that you're dealing with and it looks like it's kind of stressing you out. All right, so let's see. Clarify the casket here. All right, end of a situation or someone is going out of your life. Yeah, you're blocking somebody out, period. This dark entity right here that's bringing drama, low vibing energy, just negativity, stubborn, arrogant as hell, not compromising, okay? So um, you're moving on from this, closing out the cycle, okay? Please keep in mind that this could also be a cross watchers watch uh, reading too, right? This could be family friend. This could be an ex lover. This could be someone that you're dealing with. You know, this could be a business partner. Just take it out, resonates in your life, all right? But whatever it is, you're starting to realize that this person is more more troubled than they're worth, okay? So you're protecting yourself from this situation. Let's see. Yeah, you're not having this. You're taking action. Focusing on yourself first here, sweetheart. Let's see. All right. I love you, but I got to love you from over there. This person has gotten on your last nerve literally they're they're arrogant they're undependable you understand this person is very flaky in and out they rush in and they rush out you understand you're constantly having to heal from this situation here you're trying to partner with this person and work things out but you can't depend on this person because they don't stick to their word they're not trustworthy this person could come in um, just seeking what they desire at this time. You understand coming in under false pretenses. They tell you one thing, but they act another. Okay. Seven of swords. So you have to be careful with this person. You may find yourself overgiven in this situation and you may have in the past. And I think you're starting to wake up to this situation and say, you know what? Mm -mm. What's not getting ready to happen here is this is not getting ready to continue. I'm getting ready to block this situation out, okay? So you're finally cutting ties with someone that is actually an emotional vampire, okay? So there's that. Pay attention to your health. What is this here? All right, yeah, sweetheart. Someone, the Six of Cups is getting on your last nerve, okay? And it's really kind of weighing on your heart here, mind, body, and soul. Wow, and it's crazy because with the Courage card here, this may be what you're looking at. Taking a good look at this person over here. And if you could really see her face, oh my God, she's kind of like a, a monster here. So this is somebody that is like a negative entity in your life. You understand that dark, um, I don't even want to say succubus energy because this could be friend, family member, um, I don't know. It could be a coworker here or whatever it is, but this is somebody that their negative energy overall within themselves is drain draining. But what they're doing in your life is just putting a dub on it, you know? So you're kind of like, you know what? I got to walk away from this person. I understand that we have history together, but yeah, this ain't working for me. So I got to bounce. What did I just say? Got to leave this situation. All right, I got. I can see if I can do this without you, okay? Because this is not worth it. All right, so let's see. What else? I told you this could be a family member. It doesn't have to be. It could be more than one person, too. This could be someone that you may have been trying to work things out with. You understand? But 
you got somebody that's you're trying to make progress, but you got somebody in the back of the boat that's rowing backwards when you're working double time trying to row, row forward. You're not getting anywhere with this connection and it's affecting your health, mind, body and soul. You understand? So looks like you're doing what's best for you. All right. So let's see. Yep. What did I say? Hmm. Taking a leap of faith in a new direction. Deuces. Got to go. Something new, something better, something stable. All right, so clarify the stubborn person, please, and thank you for your collective. I appreciate you. Yeah, look at this. Ooh, this is somebody you walked away from. Exit stage left. You understand this person is in deep regret. Deep regret. Yeah, see, hindsight is twenty twenty. Look at that. Somebody's going through some depression now. Now they're looking at their actions, the roles that they played. Because you walked away. Left this person behind. Gotta go, gotta go. See you later. Bye. Well, I'm not going to do is stay stuck in this toxic situation with you. If you want to act like that, you do that by yourself. Not here. All right. So let's see. Hold on. You got, you got clarity about what's going on here. Pull back your energy. What did I say? This person is drama. What are we not going to do is that? Life is too short. Only I was only given so many grains of sand in my hourglass, and I'm not getting ready to spend any more of them on you. You understand? So there's that. All right, so we're focusing on loving ourselves here. Absolutely. Looks like you got a new connection coming in. Looks like you got a new business coming in. Some of y'all may be birthing new babies here. There's a change for the better that's coming into your life. An exciting event coming on. Uh, looks like you got a new job here, but somebody's going to try to stop you from moving forward, and I think it's this person here. So, there's a need to actually figure out a way to be strategic here and seek out the information that you need in order to move forward stealth and stealth. So, this person does not know your business, okay? Keep your business to yourself because you got someone here that's low-key kind of hating on you and they don't want to see you move forward, okay? This person doesn't want to put the work in their life so they can advance, but they don't want to see you move forward either. This is crazy. We got some jealousy here. All right, let's see. Give me one for this new job. Be patient. All right, so you definitely have a new connection coming in here. All right, hold on to your pinnacles right now, too. I don't know why, but that's heavily here. We did see it in the other oracles. Ooh. All right, so some of you do have a new connection coming in here. There's a lot of people that are um, applying for this new situation that's coming in. I do believe that this is a new job. A lot of people are applying for it, but it looks like you're going to beat out the competition. A lot of people competing here. And also, yeah, also you may have to leave what you're doing now in order to advance here. But things are actually coming together for you because you're making wise decisions here. All right. Major changes coming towards you, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, some of you are actually walking away from a place of business or something like that. Uh, maybe making a move in career, adding something to your resume. I don't know. Maybe you're taking more classes or something like that. That's actually going to, you know, give you a boost in income here. All right. But whatever it is, it looks like you need to walk away from something that actually there was no growth. All right. Something that wasn't paying you enough money, whatever it is to go towards something that's giving you an opportunity that actually is going to bring you some type of abundance happening here, okay? So go ahead, take that leap of faith and move forward, okay? Um, just do it smart. Make sure that you have the information that you need, where you want to go, set your goals, and figure out how you need to get there to accomplish them, okay? But don't just jump blindly, have a plan. Find out what it is that you need to do to succeed here, okay? All right, let's get some information on this love that's coming towards you. All right. Oops. Okay, so what you don't see, sweetheart, is while you're busy, you got your head down, focusing on you, focusing on your pinnacles and things like that, there's some things that are coming out of the woodworks for you. My goodness. 
the Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. You actually have a very good connection coming up for you, okay? But it starts off with self-love, self-care. You're taking your power back, blocking out some toxic energies and moving forward, closing out cycles and opening new doors, okay? And it's leading to financial abundance, stability, emotional stability here as well. And you're attracting other people, but you're loving on yourself. So that's what's bringing other people to you. So you're manifesting new things and people in your life. Let's see. Absolutely, by investing in yourself. So that's bringing a lot of change and transformation. You're starting to look at your life. Hold on. Your life, yourself, and what you want in it from a different perspective. And you're making moves to make that happen. All right. Change for the better. Ooh. You got a stalker. <laughs> okay. So things are actually um, um, looking good for you. Moving forward. You brought a tower down with somebody here in order to move on. And this person is obsessively watching you. Okay, watching you move forward. Hindsight is 2020. And somebody's thinking about their past actions. I think it was this toxic person past here. But there's a lot of change, a lot of growth that's happening in your life. And I also feel that someone is watching you elevate and move forward and grow. Okay, so they may be learning from you. You also have learned a lot of things here as well. So you're taking what you've learned in the past. You're utilizing it for your future and moving forward. And it's actually working out pretty damn good for you. Let's see. Yeah, making head over heart decisions. Having the strength and courage to move forward. Trusting source for your journey. Okay, waiting for source to put those green lights in front of you uh, to move forward. Okay, being patient with the process. Okay, and in the process, things are balancing out for you. Okay, brand new beginnings. Stability happening here. All right. So I think this person here is going to try to reconcile with you. Yeah, see, you're moving on to calmer waters. This person is coming in, kind of kind of trying to seduce you. If they can't seduce you, this person is going to come in and try to guilt trip you. All right, but I see that you're moving forward here. All right, there is communication coming in. You are going to consider what this person says, but I don't think that it's going to uh, make you stop. Moving forward, you have success and abundance coming for you, okay? So I would say weigh your options here. Figure out what it is that you want to do. Talk to Source about this. Really look at everything with, um, you know, a new set of eyes from a new perspective here and make your decisions here. You got success coming for you, okay? Failure is not an option. Continue to work on you, boo, okay? So let's see. All right. So we're going to get some information about some love real quick, and then I'm going to get on up out of here. Because I got some more readings to do, and I appreciate y'all hitting the like button for you, girl. All right, so let's see. I'm almost scared to pull out these things now. All right, so let's see what's going on with the love situation. happening with the love situation. Oh Lord. Okay. All right. So we got some conflicting messages here. We got let go. Mm. It's up to you, and the overall energy is compromised. Okay, so, wow, okay, wasn't expecting that. Hold on. Okay, so what I'm gathering here, there's something that you need to let go of. Uh, could be someone from your past, could be um, a certain mindset or something like that. Some of you may need to compromise with this past person or something like that or someone. Um, if it's not the past person in future relationships, someone here uh, maybe needs to compromise. Don't be so headstrong on just seeing your point of view in a situation here, okay? And then there's something that uh, you may have someone approaching you, wanting a connection with you, and so it's telling you it's up to you. 
All right. Do you want to walk through this door and see what this person is, is about? Or do you want to just hold back from it? Okay. Uh, either way it goes, I think you need to use your intuition here and also be open and willing to compromise and uh, let things be equal and fair in a situation. Okay. And if you're dealing with someone that is just one sided, you might want to let that go. Okay. So what else do we have for the love situation here? I also see that there's possibly some things that you've learned from the past here. You may have held on to a situation where there was no equal give and take, no compromise. Okay, so over giving in the situation. All right. Uh, so it looks like you got someone new coming in. It looks like you're going to be getting to know this person. So this is telling you it's safe for you to love. So step out on faith. Just use wisdom in this situation. Take your time because you know in the beginning of a relationship, everyone is wearing a false mask. They don't want you to see their flaws and traumas and, and you know, the little dingy side that everybody has, you know, the the little habits that might not be so becoming. So take your time when you get into a relationship because everybody wants you to see that sparkly side of them, okay? We want to see you in the morning when you got crud in your eyes. How do you treat people in the restaurant? You understand? Are you grumpy in first thing in the morning? Are you, can people talk to you before you have your coffee? I'm just saying, you know, so you want to see what you're really getting into. All right. Does this person have mental issues? I'm just saying. Are they going to project them onto you? You understand? Is this person honest? Are they willing to compromise? You understand? Are they stingy? Are they selfish? You know, so these are things that you need to know. Um, for some of you, uh, you may have children or this person may have children. Uh, this could be someone that is a little bit younger than you. This could be someone that could be uh, possibly emotionally immature. All right. So like I said, take your time with this person. This could also be a connection that is coming in towards you. That is very fun, uh, fun, fun field and very innocent and things like that okay so like i said just use your discernment take your time with this person okay get out there and flirt too all right so let's see uh, i'll do these so it's up to you all right also don't just sit on your couch and say you know i want somebody to come into my life and you're sitting at home netflixing and chilling by yourself every weekend sweetheart you got to get yourself out there okay interact with some folks uh, try to do something that you've never done before. Take a class. Go to the gym. Talk to people. You understand? If you're in the room with um, on social media, you know, when the people go live, interact with other people inside there. You understand? So there's that. I'm just saying. You got to let people get out there and see you, you know? All right. So let's see. Give me messages regarding a new person. Please and thank you. New connection. What is this? We got the Nine of Cups sticking out here. So some of you are actually okay, single, doing your thing. Newfound freedom here. All right. Ooh, some of you aren't even looking for a connection. Let's see. All right. Some of you may be considering it. Oh. Okay, so I got mixed emotions here with this situation, okay? It kind of looks like someone wants a connection here, but... Um, kind of looking at over the past what they've dealt with in the past okay this could have been situations where you've had people that were just you know um interested in you uh intimately just sexually you understand uh you may have been thinking about this recently like you know what do i really want here i'm kind of feeling content where i am and i would like someone to share my life with but i need someone that has <laughs> oh my god i just heard shrek layers i need someone that has layers <laughs> okay I need you to be a little bit deeper than just, you know, on the intimate level to what's in that brain of yours. Can we converse about, you know, something other than the bedroom? You understand what I'm saying? So I get it. <laughs> I get it. Someone here is like, kind of like, yeah, I know what I want. I'm not ready to get into a committed relationship until I find someone that I can vibe with on multiple levels. You may be sexy. You may be attractive. You understand? I like the way you whisper in my ear. But after that, it's like I hear crickets. You understand? So you're looking for somebody that's like-minded, someone that you can deal with 
on multiple levels. Yes, sweetheart, you're looking for quality. The Empress here, someone that you can grow with that is, I want to say, multifaceted in multiple areas. You understand not only are you able to, you know, take care of home, family, yourself, but you also take care of yourself. You understand that other people learn and grow through you as well. You understand you're fruitful. So you want someone that comes with that energy. I get it. Also, some of you may be looking for someone that you can actually have a family with. Some of you want to have children. All right. And I really see that you're thinking about this as well. You know, it doesn't make sense. I want someone that's going to compliment my life. Oh, God. What we're not getting ready to do is all of this. This is this is doing too much. That's 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 like what ten cards there. I'm not doing all that. Yeah, you're being patient for what it is that you want. All right, so let's try this one more again. All right, you're being patient as you should, getting to know each other, taking your time. Also, hell, you may be having a conversation with someone. Do you want children? I want children. I would like children. All right. Do we do either of you have children? How um, um, active is the other parent in your life? You understand? What do you feel about co-parenting? What do you feel about, you know, combining families and things like that? Okay, so I see a lot of serious conversations happening here. All right, let's see. Any messages? What is it that you want to work on for your personal goals as well as a relationship? Yeah, see, someone here is holding back, not rushing in, okay? There's past heartbreak. I get it, past disappointment, all right? So you're taking your time. You're looking for someone that is compatible with you, all right? You have multiple options, but what's being presented to you is just like players, people that are immature, people that are looking for handouts. You understand you want someone that's going to compliment your life. Okay, so let's see. So you're taking your time, focusing on you. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. You want somebody that's actually going to invest in someone that is serious. Okay, let's plant these seeds together. Let's cultivate them. Let's harvest them together. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. Taking your time. High Priestess, using your intuition. What's going to bring you the Ten of Cups? What did I just say? Same thing I just said, sweetheart. All right, so right about now, the commitment that you're looking for is your commitment with yourself to heal, to grow, to do things differently, and your commitment to source, to stay, uh, stay connected and trust divine has um, a divine purpose in your life here, okay? Taking your time moving forward because you know you want something stable and it's coming towards you, okay? You're planting your own seeds in your own garden first, focusing on yourself, all right? That's, that's a beautiful thing. Trusting your intuition, not really expressing everything that you want in a relationship. So those that have uh, that don't have good intentions for you are not really... Um, how can I say? You're not giving them the keys and access to your heart, your mind, body, and soul. You're making people have to do the work. You understand? Making them come in with authentic energy, okay? So that way you can use your discernment to find out if this person is real or, you know, BS, all right? So let's see. Give me more about this situation, please, and thank you. All right, like I said, single, abundant, doing your thing, sweetheart. You learn some lessons. You got a lot of people watching you. Look at this. You got a multitude of people watching you. That is really crazy. That's really crazy. So some of you have some people that are going to be reaching out to you, trying to get, you know, connections with you and things like that. Like I said, you're using your discernment here. What are you doing, honey? day after because you got the ten of cups here there's people here that want to kind of looks like to me you're single abundant doing your thing on your own and you have others that are watching you that want to partake because you're working hard and it's progress it's progressing oh my god some might say that you're working obsessively let's see oh and you got somebody here, okay, so this is a trip. You got somebody here that betrayed you in the past that's watching you, watching you grow, watching you 
expand, watching you just be abundant and happy without them. This person can't come back. All they can do is watch because they cause some type of heartbreak and the cycle has been closed out. This person is in the cold. So it kind of looks like somebody is getting karma here. And the trippy thing is, is that this is the person that possibly made you not really want to get into a connection real quick. But it looks like, yeah, this ended here with this person. You cut this person off. All right. Yeah, you may have lived with this person too. Damn, this is crazy. But this person is watching you move on and be successful. All right, so let's see. Give me a hang man. All right. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, Strength card. Damn, what did I just say? See, you're you're pulling back your emotions from anyone right now. You're you're. I'm like, you know what? I can make my own money right now. I can focus on my stability. Whatever happened in the past, I'm not letting that hold me back. I'm moving forward, keeping my emotions in check here, and you're you're doing your thing here. In spite of what happened in the past, you're moving forward, closing out cycles, and something hidden is about to be revealed. All right, someone's coming towards you. Ooh. Mm. You got communication coming in from someone here, sweetheart. The only thing I have to say, be mindful of this person because this person's not coming in being truthful. Ace of Swords in the reverse. I got a problem with that. This is somebody that you had an ending with. And they're coming back. This is the same person that's stalking you, watching you. They're coming in, wanting a commitment. Ain't this about a bleep? I'm just saying. Look at this. Uh uh. This person might be broke, going through financial issues. Something's not working out for them. So they're coming towards you. Why? Because actually, sweetheart, you may be this empress to them, but this is what you're looking for. I see you holding back. You don't want to be bothered with this person. Okay, so let's see. And that's really a trip because I don't usually have reversals in my deck. All right, so let's see here. Clarify the Empress here. Sweetheart, you're moving on, looking for something else, taking action, making sure your life is as calm as it could be, period. All right, you got someone here that's stuck, though. But you're moving forward. All right, so let's see. Looking for what it is that you want. Absolutely. Making head over heart decisions. Yeah, I got love for you, but mm, love don't live here no more. It's over there on the shelf. We're moving forward. Let's see. Making wise decisions, okay? And those wise decisions are actually paying off. All right, be careful because someone here is coming in trying to sweet talk you here, sweetheart. They might want to try to get you stuck. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing, all right? Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile. They may be watching you online. This also may be someone that has to travel towards you, too. Clarify the strength, please, and thank you. This is someone that you have pulled back your energy from. You are not in communication with this person. They have some deep regrets about this connection here. All right, yeah, they want to come forward. It looks like you may be getting some surprise communication, possibly an offer here as well. All right, so someone here that you had an issue with in the past is trying to come back and offer something stable. All right, looks like you're not interested. Let's see. Kind of looks like your life is going pretty damn well. All right, so you do have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck now. Looks like I said this person's life is not working out for them. Something, they might be going through some financial issues. Uh, kind of looks like this person was kind of holding back. Now they want to come forward. This person was kind of quiet and uh, holding back from you. All kinds of information. Now this person wants to come in and speak. And also this person feels like they missed out on something that could have been very, very um, prosperous with you. You understand? So somebody screwed up here. And the reason why I'm looking at all of this is because every last one of these cards came out in reverse. Every last one. So now this person is like, damn, hindsight is 2020. You understand? So this person in turn may have hurt your heart in the beginning by holding back, by not giving to the situation, by breadcrumbing and things like that. But in turn, it backfired on them because the karma that they're reaping is kicking their behind, okay? You got something new and stable that's coming towards you. Clarify the three of swords, please, and thank you. This is all about a past person. Somebody wants to reconcile, and this is somebody that 
you know, you may not have even known that this person has feelings for you, but they do. They're immature, childish, impulsive, just good grief. Yeah, but they want a new beginning. Look at this. They see you as an empress. That's why they're coming back. Someone here actually may have children by this person, too. Look at the Seven of Pentacles. This is all about, wow, this person is coming in. But be careful. Be careful. There's something they're not telling you. There's something they're not telling you here. And I'm going to turn this up right again. Let's see. Yeah, this person's trying to figure out a way what to tell you, how to tell you. Do I tell you? It's bugging the hell out of them. They're working their way up to it. They know it's going to be a, he a heavy burden trying to get you to even listen to them, let alone, uh, I think we should get back together. <laughs> I think not. You understand? So there's that. Okay. But it's not stopping them from coming in. It's taking them a long time, but they see uh, that, you know, you're very stable. They can have... Uh, stability with you. Hell, quiet as a skeptic person might need some place to stay. I'm just saying. Here's the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, you guys, I am going to ask for new love here. Oh, I don't even have to. It shows up right here. It shows up right here. Okay, so this person has been taking a minute to come towards you, and then we got somebody else that's coming in, too, with the Ace of Wands. Damn. Okay. With the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Sun. So regardless of what this person is going on here, you have someone totally new coming in. Oh, with the Knight of Cups here. Okay. I see this. I like it. All right. Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers here. Okay, so look. Um, damn, this is crazy. I, I hear scratching and clawing, okay? Somebody scratching and clawing trying to get back to you. But I see that you're like, this is something that I'm not interested in. Been there, done that. You could have had three different cycles with this person, you know, break up to make up, break up to make up, break up to make up. You know what? I'm done. Could have been third party situation here as well. Could have been other people involved. Okay. So now it kind of looks like someone here is really reaping um, the harvest of their actions here. All right, so you reap what you sow. Whatever you put out there, you're going to get it back, and you're going to get it back tenfold because karma gains momentum. You understand? It's like that infinity loop. Um, what you put in on that down slope gains momentum, and it comes back and hits you in the ass. So like I always say, be good to people because that shit matters. You understand? And sweetheart, it looks like you've been good to someone here. You've been pouring love into them. You've been loving on yourself, and it's actually coming back for you. All right. So I see a lot of love, genuine love, a connection from source, a lot of passion here, a lot of happiness. OK, and a lot of clarity, a lot of truth and clarity in this new connection here. OK, and it's all because you decided to start focusing on self. Yeah, you got somebody stable coming in for you, sweetheart. All right. So this is someone that is an actual provider. Oh, my gosh. You got a lot of people here. OK, there's a lot of court cards here with the devil. So that you got to be mindful of, all right? All right, use your intuition here with the high priestess. Yep, use your intuition here, sweetheart, because there's going to be some of these people that you're going to block out. They're coming in with manipulation and things like that. But I want you to know that you have all the tools that you need in order to manifest the type of life that you want, all right? But it starts off with you taking care of yourself and focusing on rebuilding yourself. Yeah, you got a commitment coming in here, okay? Use your discernment, stay connected with source, with the high priestess here, and also the hierophant, which is really a trip because both of you, this new person coming in, both of you might be very uh, spiritually in tune, spiritually talented, gifted here, and also connected at a, at a soul level, okay? So this just may be your divine counterpart coming in towards you. All right, yeah. Okay, so... Um, also, like I said, I see that you're going to be holding back from a lot of people here because you got a lot of suitors that's coming towards you. Some you're not really interested in. You understand? So I see that you're, you know, using your intuition, your discernment, and also connecting with source when it comes to some of these connections. Been there, done that. You remind me of this and I'm not doing that anymore. Cool. I'm done. Bringing in balance and peace into your life. This is karma showing up for you. Okay. So whatever it is that you've done. 
um, the healing that you've done, the shadow work that you've done, sweetheart, is definitely paying off for you. All right, and your past person is actually facing karma here too, okay? So your overall energy is a 10 of cups, what brings you peace, balance, and happiness. I like it. All right, secure family and things like that. You know, keeping those that are most important to you closest and also um, protecting yourself from those that mean you no good, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's see. It's kind of crazy because whoever this person is, that past person that's coming toward you, I kind of feel I heard fix it. They'll fix it. You understand? So this person may be coming in to you or coming to you because they know that you'll fix whatever issues they got going on. OK, so there's that as the empress, I could really see that you can, you know, definitely step into that role for this person. OK, is there anything else for this read here? And then I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because we actually had the new person show up, which is really a trip. We got the lovers on the bottom of the deck and privileged lady. Sweetheart, I don't care what it is that it looks like to you. Please know that you are highly, highly favored here. Okay. Highly blessed here. And this may be how others see you. Yeah, you work hard and it actually pays off for you, sweetheart. Okay. A lot of abundance happening for you. So keep doing what it is that you're doing. Um, don't look at the things that are going wrong in your situation. Look at the things that are going right. Don't look at the missed opportunities. Look at the opportunities that are to come towards you because you got blessings chasing you down. You got things coming for you, opportunities and offers coming for you, okay? Not everything that is offered for you is going to be a good thing. So use your intuition here, but keep your grind on. Um, it's actually paying off for you, especially with the finances are concerned. Look at the positive aspects of what you're going through, sweetheart, and just know that you are about to be very, very stable here. So keep doing what it is that you're doing. Household is looking good, all right? So there may be only one thing that you're lacking in your life right now, and that's possibly the love, but set your foundation. Like I always say, um, get the thorns out of your nest. Make sure that your nest is comfortable for not only you, but for others as well. Okay. Okay. So sorry about that, you guys. All right. Clarify the lovers here. All right, right about now, I see that you are kind of, you know, protecting your space from people. You're holding back from uh, new situations here, basically waiting for what it is that you desire to show up in your life, okay? So until you get what you want, you're holding back. You see how this person's like, I don't know. I'm going to give you this pinnacle. I'm going to take my time and see what you're showing up with, okay? All right. And I did see the star. You're waiting for and looking for and wanting and not settling for anything else in your wish fulfillment, okay? So until then, you're holding back. I got it. Got it. Yeah, I get it. And if it's not what is what you want, you're leaving it out in the cold, okay? Using your intuition, trusting your intuition. Hmm. Absolutely. But you're manifesting a good connection here. But be careful, okay? Because you got some people that are coming in, seeing that you are this privileged lady here, and they want something from you, okay? The empress, I'm just saying. But like I said, be careful. You got a new connection coming in, but there are some people that are coming in, watching you grow, watching your pinnacles, watching you do your thing. And you're, you're attracting some people that have hidden intentions here, okay? So just be mindful of that and keep moving forward and focusing on you and your healing and things like that, all right? So this is what I got for you guys next week. Um, yeah, overall, there's some stuff going on, but I see you doing pretty good. Know that you are protected so you don't have to be on high alert all the time, all right? And uh, yeah, this is what I got for this week, all right? All right, I'll holler at y'all later. Bye.